day three here in New Caledonia for the Bureau Valet Dream Cup. And we got the wind, yes we did. And we had some excellent slalom action. In the men, well, we saw some ups and downs today. Yes, two riders came into this competition leading the world tour. Matteo Iacchino and uh, Pierre Mortafon. In the first race, Pierre Mortafon got disqualified for dangerous sailing. Yeah, it all went on. He tried to slam himself inside uh, Ross Williams uh, and he came out actually on top, but was disqualified later and so got disqualified for the whole round. Uh, Matteo Iacchino didn't make the final, no. So it was all like, who's going to win this? And the Croatian won his second Yes, his second elimination on the PLA Tour. An emotional one in Denmark and coming back strong here to take the win in the first one. Uh, we had Maciek Rakowski right up there and Jordi Vonk as well. Uh, so going into the second elimination, Mortafon needed to step up. Did he? Yes, he did. He absolutely killed it. He won the final and he is back in the running. Uh, Matteo Iacchino, he also made that final and put together a solid score. Uh, but who is on top after day one? It's the Polish rider, Maciek Rakowski is leading the way. Um, Antoine Albo is in second place with two fifth places. And I think it's Jordi Vonk in third. In the women, uh, similar situation coming into this competition. Delphine Cousin Castell just needs to finish on the podium to take the world title. She kicked off, she won the first elimination. She was looking in really good form with Marion Mortafon second and Lena Erdl in third. Going into the second elimination, we thought the same thing was going to happen. But no, Delphine Cousin Castell went down at the last mark and she didn't even qualify for the final. That left the door open for Marion Mortafon to take the final. Malgi Rowe stepped up in second and Lena Erdl third. What that means is after the first day, Marion Mortafon is at the top of the tree. Uh, Malgi Bo in second place and Lena Erdl in third. And that means if the competition was to stop now, Marion Mortafon would be the world champion. But anything can change. We've got three more days of wind. It is totally up in the air. The forecast is to step up. It's going to be a great week of action. Stay tuned to the live stream. We are going to be uh, coming in hot. <laughs> <laughs>